Well, I've got, um, I suppose, cultural um, heritage that goes back to, um, you know, sort of Indigenous Australia, two, two main places in particular. Uh, one, which is the, the Torres Straits, back to Moe Island, and also to um, the um, Shelburne Bay area of the, uh, the Eastern Cape of um, Cape York Peninsula, um, to a, a, a cultural group called the Wutati. Uh, the Woven Waterworks, uh, one um, comprising the first panel, actually in, in monks, you know, the, the swirl of water and things like that. Um, and then uh, another uh, gentleman actually sitting on a, a wharfing, you know, sort of pontoon, you know, sort of structure as well that sits, you know, just to the side of it. And um, oh, I suppose, you know, th those two figures, you know, while it um, looks like they're, they're fishing and things like that, you know, the other, I suppose, things that they that they could be contemplating life and, you know, other other possibilities. So, you know, it's really up to the viewer what they, you know, sort of see, you know, sort of the, the figures actually doing. Uh, fishing and things that we used to do down the wharves, um, we used to have so much catch that, you know, and this is, I'm talking, you know, sort of 12, one in the morning. So a lot of the, the people that uh, used to come down the wharves, you know, yeah, to party after, you know, a lot, a lot of the pubs had closed. We used to, you know, being, you know, young entrepreneurs, we used to start selling off, you know, all our produce to, <laughs> to get some income. So, you know, as you do, you know, you always, yeah, looking at, yeah, all sorts of ways and, you know, sort of to have fun. The, the etching, um, August 23, 1898, um, I suppose, in a sense, looks at a lot of, um, a lot of cultural material um, taken from the Torres Straits. Um, back to uh, back to be housed in um, you know institutions throughout um, throughout the UK throughout Europe and in particularly that that sort of uh, collection of objects went back to uh, back to Cambridge um, and I, I suppose you know there's always been a very strong interest in um, in the history of uh, you know of my people um, in basically you know showing a lot of the family connections family histories and things like that and, you know, sort of pulling apart, um, you know, um, the history of the Torres Strait, you know, sort of there yeah, all together and seeing how it all sort of fits in, you know, um, nationally and also, you know, sort of internationally as well. Torres Straits themselves, you know, quite a, quite a thin, narrow strait, um, squeezed between, um, you know, Papua New Guinea and uh, Australia. Oh, I think the, the width actually is about, probably about 130 k's from tip to uh, coastal PNG and then you know sort of about 150, 160 k actually across across the strait itself. So quite a narrow little waterway. So and there's a, so there's a lot of water that actually runs through that particular you know, sort of sort of area. And you know the the water itself you know um, isn't you know I suppose it isn't yeah, just there to to carry you know sort of seafood and everything like that. It's it's one of the main I suppose um, connections to to all Torres Strait Island people. You know sort of everyone globally I suppose if you want to look at that. But you know, the, the waters themselves not only carry, you know, that, that nutrition, you know, seafood and things like that, but it also carries, I suppose, a lot of cultural connections and things like that back to, back to the islands, back to the lands themselves.